teaching and learning in an efficient manner, being creative and imaginative in the lessons, and building self-esteem. Why do we need classroom management, by the way? We need classroom management to provide a safe and a an friendly and comfortable learning environment. And above all, it is calling for an effective discipline. Do we agree to this, classroom management? Now, to proceed further, I want to know how many are actually in touch with the children? Who, how many of you take the classes? How many of you are in touch? They go to the classes, they take classes, they do the teaching. Okay, not with me, I think. This is going to be a nutshell. In a nutshell, I'm trying to explain what is classroom management. There will be some tips along the way, inshallah, hoping that this will really turn out to be a cakewalk for you. All these things are defining the classroom management and about these things is it's different for everyone. Don't we think so? It's different for everyone. The strategies which we adopt in classroom management are different for everyone. This is just um, on a lighter note, I've put a uh, cartoon. I hope it's visible to everyone. Your classroom management techniques work in practice but not in theory. There's a conversation between the principal and the teacher. So this means the classroom management techniques are different for everyone. So we are supposed to try different strategies and see which one suits us the best. I'd like to have a self-assessment, a very quick one, a fist of five. You can raise your hand and tell me what, uh, where do you uh, fall into with respect to classroom management. This is applicable for those uh, people who are in contact with the children. Just raise your hand, close your fist, and show me where you stand in classroom management. One to five. Can you just show me? Raise your hand and show me where you stand in your classroom management. One finger, two fingers, three fingers, four or five. Some have said three, some have shown four, some have said two. What about the rest? Everyone fall under the five fingers out in the scale of one is to five. A closed fist indicates you're still thinking about it. A first one finger out, you're very frustrated. Two fingers are out, it means you are frustrated. Three fingers are out, that means you're surviving with classroom management. Four fingers, pretty comfortable and things are also going well, alhamdulillah. But what about the five fingers? That means you are just going good, going great. Nobody with five fingers out for classroom management? Brothers? Okay. It looks like we, uh, nobody wants to take that chance. Okay. Classroom management is nothing but a magic wand that if you master it, inshallah, that will surely be a cakewalk for you. It includes a set of strategies. It includes a set of tricks. And how are you going to achieve all this? You're going to achieve all this with plan, plan, and plan. This is a statement highlighted. I am sure all the management people and all the teachers know. If you don't plan, then the children will plan for you. How many of you have experienced this kind of set setup in your classrooms? The teacher is amazed, the teacher is baffled, the teacher is confused. Here, The teacher in the, I don't know. I think, I think this uh, picture is self-explanatory. You can see some children uh, sleeping, some children uh, busy making rockets, some children gazing out of the windows, some children are passing chits from below the desk. Isn't it a common sight to a teacher who enters the class unprepared and unplanned? So now, the more you plan, the more effective and organized your lessons will be. And also, the discipline problems automatically reduce. Do you agree to this? Yes. Now here the teacher is quite excited to speak and explain her lesson. But what about the children? She is excited only to herself. She is excited to say that she is ready for the class. But the children are dozing. 
That means there is something that's lacking here. What's your take on classroom management as discipline? I want to know here. Is classroom management same as discipline? I want to get an answer. I want this answer from all of you. Is classroom management discipline? Or is it something different? No. Involvement of the student. Involvement of the student? attention of the student when you're delivering lectures. How do you do that? Yes.
patterns, something like that, which avoids the, the line saying no. It's all said, no talking, no smiling. It's the full board of that lady is filled with starting no. So please avoid such things. I think we have, uh, brothers have uh, said in the morning that you have to avoid negative confrontation, negative words, using the vocabulary in a positive way. Clear and simple instructions have to be given to the child. Here, the student is assuming that the student is, uh, mashallah, doing well. But the teacher has labeled him as underproductive. The, the student is discussing with the child that the teacher is expect saying that I am underproductive. I think the teacher is overexpecting. So, your instructions to the children should be very simple and very, very clear. You set the tone of the class, always remember that. You are in charge of the class. So the moment you enter the class, you set your tone. The classroom arrangement has to be made in such a way that you have place to walk around. The children have an access to the board. The children don't need any vision in the, in the middle. There is no blockage for their vision to reach the board, to reach the teacher. The children are supposed to be seated in different forms. That, are, that also can be converted into an activity as such. Like for an activity, the seating is different. For a theory class, the seating is different. For a discussion, the seating is different. So that itself is an activity for the children. You can take the children's support again. You can get the children involved in every, every step of your classroom management strategies and tricks which you're going to apply. There are some other tricks, there are some other strategies and above all these strategies comes that you should never think twice to ask help if something is going wrong. You have your senior teachers around you, you have your mentors around you, so whenever you are going out, whenever you are finding it quite confusing and not able to handle, rush to the teacher who is senior most and take her advice, ask her to mentor you. I think this is too, uh, is this quite academic oriented? Yes. So this is going to be beneficial for those who are in, who are in touch with the children, who are into the classrooms. And those who are on the management side, they can at least uh, tell the teachers about some, some tips about these things, inshallah. The classroom procedures also should be very, very clearly told and uh, they should be very simple again. Like how I said, the line goes as, keep it simple, Shiva. You have to always keep your cool. There can be some distractive students in the class who try to disrupt the class. So you, the minute you lose your tone, you lose your temper, they, they take control away. And remember, children are naturally called as moral police. So they will very nicely identify that whether you are in a stressful condition or not, whether uh, you are firm or not. So don't uh, let the children take over you, rather you set the tone. And whatever happens in the class shouldn't, should never be taken out. Whatever happens, it's closed for the day, then and there. Don't take it personally. Because many of the teachers who are not trained and who are not used to all these uh, training programs or who are not trained as such, they try to take it very personally on themselves. Never take the comments of the children when they pass it in the class personally. Once you take it, you lose all the fairness in you. Being a teacher, you have to be as just as possible. There are some pictures. I had tried to make the PPT as illustrious as possible because uh, I didn't want the uh, attention to be diverted. Um, I think we move on. Uh, the next topic, what I wanted to talk about here was the line which we all hear in the commercials. You, have, you might have come across some nice interesting videos which say 
that children see and children do. So a very big portion is laid upon us, a very big responsibility is laid on us that we, we exactly replicate what we want our children to do. So we have to always have a smiling face when we enter the class. Many teachers forget to smile the minute they enter the school itself. Leave alone the class, they think that Okay, that's the time of this. Yeah, okay, you have two minutes to conclude. Yeah, yeah. We have got something called as positive and negative reinforcement, wherein Brother has already dealt with the praise, the way we use uh, the... Uh, we have something called achievement cards in our school, which we give to the children to appreciate them. When Brother was asking, when was the last time you have appreciated? We do have something called as appreciation cards, achievement cards, which we give to the children, not at every drop of a hat, but we have to make it like an assessment, like a, like a precious possession for the child, alhamdulillah. And we have seen our children very happy when they get those uh, cards with them. That's like a possession that they share with everyone. Something like a disruptive behavior is also seen across in the school, which involves uh, many other There is a lot actually to be spoken about the classroom management. Some of the disruptive children and the consequences that come and all these things. I think this was very, it was presented to you in a very, very precise, in a nutshell. Uh, the consequences also have to be given to children only and only when all the steps, that is when uh, the disruptive child is being spoken to, when you're listening to the child, after you have shown some, empathize with the child, you redirect the child, all these steps are taken and still if the child is still uh, disruptive you then hold some consequences again these consequences should be very logical they should be very stepped in a stepped fashion they shouldn't be like for every uh, small thing the child is sent to the principal and uh, these type of consequences the unrealistic ones the child is uh, at the end of the day start hating the school the teacher and the whole system of education so we have to make the teaching, ex the teaching experience a more pleasant and a memorable one by following all these techniques, strategies which are there for these disruptive children trying to find out their background, why they are like that trying to, uh, at the end I just want to summarize by saying here and since the PPT is, PPT is also not being uh, projected on time I just want to end it by saying that we have to continue doing our work we have to uh, try to be as effective teachers and uh, remember that Rome was not built in a day and so are not the perfect students whom you want. So continue to teach with passion and share it with everyone. Inshallah. Jazakallah Dr. Ashia. So we just have time for a short question. One question maybe. Um, uh, from the teacher's side, the teachers, since this topic was uh, solely focused on this classroom management, a cakewalk. So can someone from the teachers, what, what, what has the learning been uh, from this topic? If you to ask, or even from the brothers, if they have any comment to make. Uh, I'm repeating my question. If, can you suggest any good book for classroom management? Yeah, in matter that question. Can you suggest a good book for classroom management in particular? The author's name. Actually, I'm not getting the author's name in my mind. Oh, it's by some uh, person called Bob. The classroom techniques, the classroom management. I can share the picture with you, and it's available on the Amazon. Uh, at the moment, I'm not having it. Uh, it can be shared later. I, I can share the book. Okay. There are a lot of uh, people who have come up with some nice odd, uh, YouTube videos with uh, how to manage a noisy class. Uh, there, there are some websites who give you free classroom management training, a mini course. Um, I can share the links with you. Fair enough, inshallah, you can share it with the, uh, with the admin team and we can pass it on to the brothers. You can do that on the uh, uh, when you get your references. Okay, anyone from the, the sister side, a question or a comment or a learning that you have? To 
was a very well, uh, in fact, uh, thought out presentation. Yes, there were little technical disruptions, but in spite, in spite of that, I'm sure that there was a great learning. So any comments uh, so that you can, uh, you know, allow the speaker maybe to explain a little more than she could cover at the time allotted. I actually wanted to focus on the disruptive children and the consequences. Since the slides did not give me the opportunity, I wanted the people to have a look at what I wanted to show them uh, with, uh, with the help of some, uh, you know, uh, it's a human psychology to understand when opposites are being presented in front of you. So I wanted to use uh, that technique and I wanted to share what we do at school for consequences, something called a job jar and a joy jar, where we involve the children to uh, select some consequ uh, consequences in the form of a job jar. We have a jar and the children are, uh, are given the chance to uh, choose any job for them, which gives them a sense of accountability. Uh, and uh, whenever they do anything wrong, they break a rule of the classroom, then they are given an opportunity to pick up from one of the, uh, uh, one of the sticks from the job jar. And when they do something very nice, like a positive reinforcement, we have a joy jar. Again, the children are involved in making some nice, uh, joyous, thing, joyous things for them, like five minutes of extra time, extra free time, or a PE period, or something like that. And children wait for that. They, they want to do something good to attain something from the joy jar, rather from the job jar. Okay. So, Paragraph 50, inshallah, we hope we can pass on the references later.